hello friends welcome you all to my youtube channel gaming operations the first video of my channel i am posting a video from the borderlands 3 one of the toughest stage of the game that is the round 5 of the slaughter shaft as many of you know reaching round 5 is a very difficult and defeating it is even more difficult today in this video i am showing you how to do it with ease with a single weapon that is very easy, good for crowd control the weapon I am holding that is a weapon let me check it out going inside so basically the weapon name is the lab with a damage of over 11,000 with a radiation damage of more than 10,000 per second with a 50% chance so here we go The, Let's go around, huh? the mode I am using, the settings I am using is Siren Level 57 Mayhem Mode 2 So as you can see, I started the round The, the speciality about the gun I am telling you today is You have to be standing as close to the enemy as possible Otherwise the orb won't go through them You can see as soon as the orb goes through them, some of them start disintegrating so it is very very used in a close combat circumstances and when you are surrounded by so much enemy and you keep on getting fight for your life chances in this situation it comes in very handy Just wow, look at that game it does. It doesn't matter if the enemy is having shield or a metallic armor, it disintegrates everything. Again as I said you have to be standing as close as possible to the enemy. And if you are far you won't be able to hit them with the orb. Go near them, stand as close as possible and the blast them away Unlocking this guardian angel skill is very helpful in this type of situation because you get a one, every 180 seconds you get a new life if you are going to fight for your life. One of the main strategies we use in this game is going straight forward and blasting the enemies away but sometimes it doesn't always work that way sometimes we have to go on the high so here we are doing that scavenge as these rounds are having more than four waves so it is always better to scavenge at most whenever possible For the angel again helps with the metallic player that enemy there he is having a metallic armor but it doesn't matter to how soon how fast they defend the game. Did you just see that? So 
You see the armor, they have the armor, but see how, how quick it went away. Slaughter Shaft is a very frustrating area in this game. And the round 5 is even more frustrating, but having this set of guns, we can make the job easier. Let's go again, see how quick the armor goes, how quick the red war goes. Blast them away. Ooh, yeah. Come and get me! Oh. oh my god. Oh yeah! And then there was the line. Again, as I said, you have to keep on moving, keep on moving. Don't wait for the enemy to come to you, you go near them. Then, otherwise the accuracy of this gun, it reduces drastically. Yep. Oh. Next wave comes. Ah. It doesn't matter if the enemy is anointed, armor, hardened, tink, whatever. This gun it disintegrates. But you have to be careful about the ammo status as the maximum shot capacity is 230 in this game. And you cannot go more than that. You have to keep an eye on that. Sometimes you are in a difficult situation and you are low on ammo. You may have to use it some other weapon. So it is always best to carry around a secondary powerful weapon in case if you need in a fight for life situation just look at that oh, yeah. i have tried many many varieties of the lab it comes in a fire fire or shock or but a radiation works best because no armor, no shield, resist radiation. So one tip you take from this video is always keep a radiation gun with a high damage per second and a high chance because it comes very very handy in crowd control in close combat situation. Just look at that, one hour fast rolling and he is gone. Again, again, again. As I said, this is level 57, so you get a 57 skill point. Try to disperse them in all the three areas as much as possible and always get a guardian angel skill if you are using the siren because it helps in a difficult situation. Gaming for our ammo, if you are low on a shotgun ammo. Okay, one hour to pass through him and he is dead. The enemy. Just see how easily it fits through them. Gone, 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 baby, gone. Oh, yeah. Again, as I said, go close to the enemy as much as possible. Hold them off for me. Oh, anointed. Anointed enemy has come and you look at how easily this puts through an anointed enemy. And see the amount of legendary weapons they drop in this level. It has been more than one year since Waterland has been, 3 has been released. But since this game is going strong, from the left to the use and the statistics.
Similarly waiting for Borderlands 4 and PS5. Oh yeah. See how easily it controls the crowd. And we are in a fight for more life situation here. See. Oh we have the reload. Here we go again. Borderlands 3 when you are facing a turret like this, always aim for the turret. It always helps, helps if you have a Karoshi weapon. Drop it angel by the way. Okay, so the shotgun maximum on the top of is 240. So it always helps to carry a secondary high powerful weapon. This gun I'm using here, it has a more than 6000 damage per shot on the the fire rate is E. See how quickly it also destroys the enemy, so always carrying a second weapon, this much powerful is useful in this situation when you are low on ammo on your primary damage output. So this is the final wave of the game. One more bite for dust. Oh yeah! So once again I welcome you all to my gaming channel that is gaming operations hope you enjoy this video try this gun and let me know if it works out for you like it did for me thank you